Hey, what is up, guys? Devaski here, and there's this interesting show called Three's a Crowd. Hollywood, California, it's Three's a Crowd. A game that determines who knows the husband best, his wife or his secretary. The show ran in the late 70s, early 80s, and this show was designed with the intent of getting men in trouble with their wives. There is no way any sane man looks at the episode of this show, looks at his wife, or their wife looks at their husband and says, we should go. Maybe the wife does. You know, second, on second thought, maybe the wife does look at her husband and be like, let's go on this show. The original premise of the show, and I say the original premise because there's been a few spin-offs of the show with different combinations as opposed to just wife, secretary, and husband. And there are three sets of um, contestants. So three husbands, three wives, and three secretaries. So the show starts off with the host of the show, Jim Peck. Jim Peck asks the husbands a set of questions and these questions are definitely built <laughs> in such a way that there is no way the man could give a correct, non-destructive to his relationship with his wife answer. The wives and the secretaries are not present at the point in time when the men are asked original questions and they give their answer, they write it down on a placard so that the secretary and thereafter the wife can come back and try to guess what the husband wrote down. So now that you have the general premise, let's jump right into the clips. Here's your first question. When it comes to sex with your secretary, have you been holding yourself back or letting yourself go? Have you been letting yourself go or holding yourself back? Yeah, 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 that, that's the type of questions he's asking. Yeah, H how do you even answer that? That's like somebody breaking into your house and asking you, would you like to cut off your left leg or your right leg? Regardless, you're gonna cut off a leg. Just like this, you're gonna get boned regardless of your answer. Well, naturally, you'd pick the lesser two evil. You, you, you'd say that you've been holding yourself back, right? Let's see how that plays out. Fowler? I've been holding myself back. Okay. Bard. Holding myself back. Jesse? Holding myself back. Three of a kind. Gentlemen. And you can you can see you can see the subtle shake of this man's head when he was asked this question. He he already had flashes in his mind that when he gets home, he is about to be completely destroyed by his wife. When your secretary joins you, I'm gonna have her ask you in the sexiest way she can for a permanent five dollar a week raise when she asks you that in the sexiest way she can are you going to say yes to that raise or are you going to turn her down it's like a few guys probably sat down in a room and wondered what is the most destructive but tv friendly questions that we could ask some married men And that is exactly how Theresa Crowd was probably born. You want to turn her down? The answer is no. The answer is yes. Good for you. All right. So now let's bring out the secretaries and see what the secretaries have to say about the men's answers. Has your boss been letting himself go or holding himself back? Patricia. Letting himself go, definitely. Let, letting himself go, yeah. <laughs> He's a pretty romantic guy around the oh, office. Yeah, huh? very romantic. Yeah. <laughs> no. Look at this man's face. Look at this man's face. He's utterly destroyed at this point. He knows. He just knows he's about to get completely. He's about to get a mouthful when he go home. You know what makes this even worse? He definitely, definitely letting himself go. Letting himself go, definitely. Let, letting him. That she, <laughs> she drops in. She's like, yeah. I know exactly what is this man has been doing. Jesse said, let me see, Jesse. He's been holding himself back. Why don't you say that? Yeah, because I said, that's what I've been doing. No, Jesse. She is genuinely confused. Why, why would you why would you say that? Hmm? What? <sighs> Patricia did not come to play. Pat Patricia came <laughs> Patricia probably came in here with the intent to claim her stick she is tired of just being a secretary 
and she wants the full wife position because there is no way she didn't read the room look at this man's face and be like yeah okay let me just play it safe i know exactly what he, he's going to say no 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 patricia came in and she said yo i am going to speak the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth and <laughs> oh boy i was like <laughs> i thought we discussed this why are you doing this to me but let's stop with, with patricia and <laughs> and my friend and let's see what the other gentlemen and their secretaries come up with holding himself back really Definitely. man of iron resolve That's isn't right. he he said he's been holding himself back uh, okay all right yeah this young lady is smart you know she knows what her boss would say and you know she went with the <laughs> with the correct answer in this case what about the last of them let's see what happens here Letting himself go. Letting himself go. Fowler told us he's been holding himself back. Well, that's what you tell your wife. <laughs> well, that's what you tell your wife. <laughs> I I have no words. This this is brilliant. This this is the best. This has got to be the best game show that has ever aired, ever <laughs> hands down. Controversial. But still, this makes for <laughs> entertaining and laughable content, especially in today's day and age. I would not want to be any of those men sitting in that seat on that particular day. It's any particular day, to be honest, because it doesn't seem like it's going well for them, to say the least. I think these gentlemen are probably letting themselves go. <laughs> and as, <laughs> as this one said, she thinks he just wants to hide from his wife which is probably you know probably kiss and so the rest of the rounds continue like this um until the wives eventually come on stage and give their answers to the questions that the secretaries already answered so for wives we have charlene joy and me so set of questions go pretty well the wives match their husband's answers but the host decides to do something a little spicy right after that. He decides to ask the secretary what their answers to the questions were. Perfectly designed to destroy a marriage. <laughs> Perfectly designed to ensue chaos. That is exactly what <laughs> this show is doing right now. And it goes about as well as you'd expect. Let me show you an example. I know he said holding himself back. Holding himself back. No, out of all the men, I, I have to give Bard. Bard is stone cold. You could tell he's not going to play no games. His secretary is just a secretary. I can't say the same for the other two men. But Bard came with the idea and <laughs> that he is not going home in a broken marriage. Considering what he has to work with over there he better have said holding himself back holding himself back okay jesse said he's been holding himself back right it's crazy that this show ran for as long as it did it ran for about six months which is pretty long given its nature and the content but the time frame i assumed was a big part to play in allowing this show to air for as long as it did in today's day and age this would be turned down instantly because of the controversies that would arise and the problems that would arise from a show like this tell charlene what you said he hasn't been holding himself back oh uh, you know what if he haven't you two deserve to be together because you will be together <laughs> Together oh yeah, day. and you so will I'm be sure spending more honey they have. Divorce court, you go to the divorce court is full of ladies just like yourself. Dan, there we go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Divorce court. Yeah. D exactly. There's. Yep. No words to describe what just occurred there, and. That's exactly what the hosts and designers and creators of this show was fishing for. This is exactly what they want. They want this backlash, this back and forth between the secretary and 
the waves and they want the chaos that comes as a result of it because it's good for your things. He said, whatever you want, sugar babe, just don't leave me. That's it, huh? mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fowler said, whatever you want, sugar babe, just don't leave me. Yeah, she got that raise. Do I even need to say anything at this point? He literally refused a kiss on live television. I'm hoping that somebody knocked some sense into this young lady after the show aired because obviously, obviously, this man is more for his secretary than you, his wife. It's sad because people are laughing at her, not with her. And I think she's laughing primarily because she's a bit embarrassed. I mean, who wouldn't be? You just got rejected by your own husband for a kiss on live television. That's, that's, that's a level of embarrassment that few people will ever get in their entire lives. You know, so I, I, I don't fault her for trying to cover what I have to assume is the height of embarrassment with a laugh. You know? Just how it is. But in the end, the secretaries lost and the wives won. So I guess the wives did kind of get something out of all of this drama. They get to find out if their husbands were cheating on them or not. And they made a thousand dollars split up between all of them. So let me throw out the question to you guys. Would you go on a show like this for a thousand dollars? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.